In this video, I'm going to show you how you can make a great looking t-shirt design like this or a great looking fine art print like this completely for free. Let's jump in. All right, the first thing you wanna do is grab a silhouette of a country. So I'm on a site here called SVG SILH, that's short for SVG Silhouette. And I've typed into the search term here, Canada, which is where I live. And I'm gonna grab this Canada map right here. You can download the SVG file. You can also download a PNG. I recommend you download the SVG file. That's a scalable vector graphic. It'll be a very clean vector file that you can infinitely scale up. So I'm just gonna click this download SVG file. It's gonna give me an option here to download this file to my desktop computer. Next up, you're going to grab a background. And in this case, I'm gonna select stars. So I've gone to a site here called Pexels. It's completely free to use. I've typed into the search term stars, and I'm gonna pick this one right here. Beautiful starry background, nice big high quality picture. I'm gonna click free download on the top right. You may have to log in to get it, but you've got a free JPEG file right here. Okay, next up, you're gonna go to a program called Inkscape. If you have not downloaded Inkscape yet, I highly recommend it. It's completely free. It's a vector software tool. And it looks like this when you first log in. You have a menu along the left-hand side. You've got some colors down at the bottom. It can be a little bit tricky to figure out how to use this. So I'm gonna walk through this nice and slow. The first thing you're gonna do here now is import your files. So I'm gonna go File, Import. And in this case, what I'm gonna do first is grab my background, which is my stars. I'm gonna click Open. And it's going to ask me to import this. I'm gonna say smooth, which is optimized quality and the image DPI from file. I'm gonna click okay. All right, so I've got my big background here. I'm gonna make this nice and big. I'm gonna put it right there. And now I'm gonna import my country. I'm gonna to go to file, import, and I'm gonna pick my vector file. I'm gonna click open. Because this is a vector, it's going to ask me a different question. It's going to say include the SVG image as an editable object. I'll say yes, I'll click okay and now I've got my vector file. Don't be alarmed if it's a little tiny file because you just hold down the control key, drag it and make it nice and big. It's a very crisp file because it's a scalable vector graphic. We're scaling it. So I'm gonna put the vector right on top of the background. Now what I'm gonna do is select both. So I'm gonna click on the Canada silhouette. I'm gonna hold down the shift key, select the stars background. So I've got both of them selected and I'll go object, clip, set clip. From here, I've got now a big stars image that I can now move as one image. I can make this a tiny bit larger and I can now put this on a t-shirt. And then I'm going to make a word underneath it. I'm gonna click the text button, I'm gonna drag it. And then whatever you've got as your text up at the top, you may wanna make it a slightly bit larger depending on the size of your design. I'm gonna make it a 500 point font and I'm gonna type in the word Canada. My font is set to white. So I'm going to make it black down here at the bottom. And we can see there my font is still pretty small. So I'm going to select it, hold down that control key, make it nice and big. I'm gonna put it right like that. And now this is going to be my design. If I wanted to make the text white, for example, I simply select it and then go down to the bottom and I pick white and you'll see now it changes to white font or gray font, whatever font color you would like. If you'd like to make the text starry, similar to the country, here's how you do it. You go file, import, import your stars design. So now I've got my stars background. I'm gonna make it nice and big, put it right there where I want the text to go. I'm now going to type some text. I'm gonna click on the text tool on the left-hand side. I'll make a nice big box and I'll type the word Canada into it. I'm going to make the text white so that I can see it a bit easier. And then I'm going to click it, hold down that control key, make it nice and big, move it over here. Oh, it made it a little too big. I'll just make it a tiny bit smaller. Hold down the shift key, select both the background and the text go object, clip, set clip. And now we've got Canada, the word Canada, also starry. I really hope you found this walkthrough helpful. I like using Inkscape, it's completely free. I recommend you download it and give it a try. Here's another video on how you can have some fun in the world of graphic design. Thanks a lot for watching.